Welcome back to the channel. This time on this video, we are going to do a field test on the Baofeng BF888S. Um, I've done a review video before. Go check. I'll put a link in the description. Go check that video out. See if it is the right radio for you or not. Um, we are going to put it through its test today. We are going to do an in-town test with brick buildings and all in between us. Um, we're going to put it through its test here in town. Um, simplex mode, and then we're going to go out to the middle of nowhere out in the country, and we're going to see if the range improves or it's, if it's worse or not. Um, my guessing is it's going to be a heck of a lot better out there in the country, but we'll find out today, and you stick around. Follow along for the ride. We're going to go do these tests. Subscribe, like, share this video, comment hear what you guys think about this video and if we can improve on it or not uh, just let me know all right we're starting the in city in the city test with the vf 888s radios uh, for the control we're going to do a test sitting here right next to each other uh, i'm going to be the one sitting stationary a friend of mine's got the other radio he's going to be driving around we are going to see how many blocks he can get out before he starts coming in static um, as a control, both of our radios are going to be attached to our visors, and we're going to be running the VTEC speaker mic to make it a little bit easier to talk on. So, let's get into the video and start these tests. We'll see how well they do. Are right, you ready? i got the video rolling now. We're ready to start these tests. Here's the control test. That's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's a little slow, I mean. Yes, it was loud and clear. I'm supposing it was loud and clear on my end, too. So. Alright, just Signals are loud and clear. How are they on my end? Loud and clear, boss man. Copy on that. Again, this is simplex mode. We are not talking through a repeater. We are talking simplex. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Alright, signals are still loud and clear on my end. How about mine? Coming in loud and clear. Let's copy on that one. Wait for the next report. Alright, at the intersection of Fourth and Market. Still nice, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Um, I guess whenever you get to Third Street, is take a ride and go down Walnut and come back to me. That way. Alright, heading back now. Heading, uh, heading Third Street right now. Copy on that one. Still loud and clear. He's approximately six blocks out from me now. Still loud and clear. Still loud and clear. You're starting to get a little static on you now. Still readable. I'm going to hit first second. Okay, you're starting to go down that hill, so you're getting a lot. You're starting to get a little bit more static. I don't think you'll pick up much more static when you get the first. Okay, you're com you got completely un unreadable, I think, whenever you turned on First Street, so um, just kind of give a holler when you get to Mulberry and start heading back this way, and we'll see how well it does. Uh, 
Copy on that one. You're coming in loud and clear again. He's pro right then, he was approximately... <laughs> Yeah, it was a good uh, nine blocks away when you start cutting out, which I figured it would once you went down that hill. But still pretty good. I mean, you're coming in nice, loud, and clear now. I don't know where you're at now. You said 5th Street? Copy. You're still coming nice, loud, and clear. Uh, by the time you get back here, we'll start wrapping up this test, and we'll start heading back out to the country. See how well that works. Got about nine blocks away from where I'm sitting at. He had to go down a decent sized hill. I don't know the elevation on her on it at this time. But uh, that's about when it started cutting out. So you get a good nine block radius, I think, out of these radios, which is pretty good for the city of where he went. We were nothing but brick buildings in between us. So I Consider that a very good stress test on it. We'll head out to the out to the country and we'll start that test. And I think it'll be a we'll get a lot further out there. So we're going to a nice flat area that, in our county, so we'll be back with you. All right, now we're we're at our location to start our second test. We are out in the country where it's wide open. Um, my buddy's getting ready to take off. We're going to start the test. We're going to have him do one, do a signal test every 0.5 of a mile. We'll see how far he can get out. So, let's get started. All right, take off. You're good to go. Do a signal report every 0.5 of a mile. So, you may want to restart your odometer whenever you get on the highway. Alright, sounds good. You're coming in loud and clear for our control test here right next to each other. Um, ready to every five of a mile. <laughs> Signal's coming in loud and clear. A little static on you, but still readable. Okay, so you're approximately a mile away now. Um, you are still readable, but there's some static on you. So you're a mile and a half away. Uh, you got a lot of static, but I can make out to what you're saying. Okay, I think you just said you're a mile and a half now. I was wrong earlier, but you had a lot of static, but I was able to make out a mile and a half. Okay, I think you're completely unreadable now, so I think that's a good test. Um, so I guess you can turn around and come back. All right, that wraps it up for this test. He got about a mile and a half away, and he completely dropped out. I'm unable to hear him now. Still pretty good range for a 3-watt radio, I think. So we'll wrap this video up. And please, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, I'll, put a, some I'll put some links in the description to the radio and to the speaker mic. Have a good rest of your guys' day, and thank you for watching.